Clements Homebrew coming at you with a beer review. It was a beautiful day today, but it's getting really cold now. Uh, anyway, I was out cleaning up the yard. We had these 70 mile wind gusts that were coming through uh, Hillsboro here, just uh, west of Portland. And, uh, and the day before, I was over at my son Christian's house because a big tree came down. So I had to go over with my chainsaws and we were, and it went over the neighbor's fence. We, we were having fun. I need a beer. What do you think? So I'm going local. <laughs> we're going for Fort George's Suicide Squeeze. It's a big old yummy IPA, I assume. We'll find out. It's, it's a little bit different recipe than in the past. They've made it before. The Suicide Squeeze is uh, a collaboration they do with Seattle Suicide Squeeze record label. And, but they've changed up the recipe a little bit. And this year they're using Mosaic, Amarillo, and Citra hops. All beautiful hops. It's 7.2% ABV, and we're going to get this sucker cracked open. By the way, this is a seasonal, so it's available from March to June this year in 2017. All right, we'll get the pour. Here we go. Leave a little in the can. There you go. Wow, that's just a pretty clear beer, isn't it? That's just gorgeous. Ha! Huh. Bubbles rose up. It's a thin white head on there, uh, but it's just a nice golden to orange color. Really bright in this lighting. Let's get the nose. Woohoo! Success! Oh man, I just got this really bright citrus hitting me right off the top. The first thing I got, I got some grapefruit, I got some orange, and a whopping load more of grapefruit. I got both the freshy grapefruit, I've got like a grapefruit zest and like a grapefruit rind. Now those are different things if you if you really think about it. I got both of those and I got some orange uh, zest as well. Wow, that's nice. Uh, but you get some tropical stuff going on too. It's kind of harder to find the tropical. I got a light hit of some pineapple on there. And papaya and mango. And it's got like a lightly... Uh, uh, biscuit like a more like a biscuit type character on the background there's some pine coming through on it there's some resin coming through on it and it was slightly grassy yeah like a little bit of an earthy and floral kind of characteristics coming through as well I mean they're they're all just really inviting sense as far as I'm concerned so we're gonna jump in cheers oh Hot dog, hot damn, whew, that's yummy. It's not a slap in the face, but they're very vibrant hops. Um, really good, there's a good malt base on there. It's lightly sweet, it's enough to carry all the hop character. Okay, let's be honest, it's, it's more than lightly sweet. You know I like sweet, but it's not overly sweet by any means. But wow, those fruit characters are just great. I think that the, the biggest one is the grapefruit, the grapefruit rind and zest type characters, but you're still getting some of that orange, but this time I'm getting some, uh, a little bit of a, a light bit of pulpy orange on that as well. A little bit of pine, uh, like pine needles. Uh, a little bit of resin as well. Ever so slightly dank. Got those biscuit molds like I talked about. The, the uh, there's tropical fruits they're almost more generic, I want to say. It's not like one of the tropical fruits particularly jumps out strong. I would say uh, uh, a bit of the mango. I get just a hint of like a pineapple in the background and some of that papaya again, just like in the nose. So it carries through, but it's just, <laughs> it's a super pleasing beer, let me tell you. And the bitterness on it's great. I'd say that it's about... 65 IBUs if I had to guess. It doesn't taste 65. I'm just saying that because knowing how much sweetness and how much character there is in this, you've got to have a bit of uh, hops to balance the whole thing out. You've got to love those characteristics of citra that kick in too. I mean, I love my Amarillo that gives us that orange character, but the citrus kicking in, you get only lightly that cattiness. I, I do like that cattiness from citra. It's there, but it's just lightly so. But I think a lot of the credit goes also really to the mosaic because that's bringing in all those tropical characteristics. 
and uh, just kind of flooding it with a lot of different flavors. This is a beautiful beer. I'm gonna take a little time with this and I'll come back with some numbers. Oh, I've poured the last of it in. This is a beauty. This is a really good beer. Not a big surprise. Uh, Fort George makes some really good stuff. Um, and, and they make some great barrel-aged beers as well. I think in terms of American IPAs, I'm gonna give it a 95. It's not your New England type IPA, man. It's more classic West Coast IPA. And it's a really good one at that. Overall, uh, I'm not going to change a whole lot. I'm just digging on it. I'm going to go 94. Just one more just beautiful IPA locally. And the bitterness is building. It's, it's not like real big, but it's building, which is beautiful. I, I'm digging on it. Here we go. It is. It's the Suicide Squeeze from Fort George. This is the 2017 release. One big, beautiful beer. I would say go get this one. It's going to be around for a little while. If you can find it, grab it. This is Kevin at Clemens Homebrew saying, life is too short to drink cheap beer, and I'll see you on the next beer review.